Introduction to Databricks Machine Learning, a walkthrough of the Databricks Machine Learning UI. In this video, you'll learn how to navigate the Databricks Lakehouse Platform UI for Databricks Machine Learning and be able to identify the features unique to Databricks ML. So let's get started. If you are familiar with the Databricks Lakehouse platform, you'll be aware navigation is controlled through the menu on the left of the screen. By default, the sidebar menu automatically collapses when not in use. To change this feature, locate the menu options at the bottom and change the behavior to your preference. For this walkthrough, I'll select Expand to keep the sidebar menu open. To navigate to the Databricks Machine Learning UI, locate the Persona Switcher at the top of the menu. We are currently in the Data Science and Engineering workspace, but need to select Machine Learning to move to that particular workspace. You can also pin the ML Persona by selecting the pin icon next to it. As you can see, the layout of the home page changed as this UI is specifically designed for data scientists and machine learning engineers. Along the top, there are some shortcuts where you can create an empty notebook, start AutoML, view a guide for machine learning, or use the feature store. In the middle of the screen, you'll be able to see a list of recently viewed items such as notebooks, registered models, feature tables, and experiments. At the bottom are links for resources such as documentation, release notes, and machine learning relevant blog posts. Looking back at the sidebar menu, it has been adjusted to include quick access for areas pertinent to machine learning practitioners, including experiments, feature store, and models. Selecting any of these will take you to the relevant interface where work can be completed in a user-friendly UI. Also included in the sidebar are options generally available in the Data Science and Engineering workspace, such as New, Workspace, Repos, and Recent, as well as Data, Compute, and Workflows. One of the differences between the Data Science and Engineering version of these icons and the Databricks Machine Learning option are the type of items that you can create with the new option. In addition to the standard of notebooks, data, jobs, clusters, and the like, you can also create experiments and models beyond just an AutoML experiment, which is standardly available. The workspace is similar to how it appears elsewhere in the Databricks platform. It is a navigation tool to move between artifacts in your Databricks workspace. These items are not unique to Databricks machine learning and are accessible in the data science and engineering workspace as well. Another way to navigate and organize files in Databricks is through the use of repos. Repos are folders in the Databricks workspace with contents co-versioned together by syncing them to a remote Git repository. So if you like to complete your work connected to a Git repository, you'll want to access your files in repos rather than workspace. For quick access to recently viewed or worked on items, you can select the Recents option to access a list in a convenient pop-out. The Data Compute and Workflows feature provides access to resources, clusters, and jobs. The Data tab takes you to your Data Explorer, where you can see, manage, and share your data assets. Here, users can view Unity Catalog-governed data assets and their details, such as owners, permissions, and created dates. Additional data can be uploaded via the Add Data option at the top of the screen. From the Compute tab, you can access all-purpose and job-specific clusters. With the appropriate permissions, from here you can create new clusters, edit existing clusters, and set cluster policies. As a data scientist or machine learning practitioner, you will often be using an existing pre-configured cluster and may not need to manage compute resources yourselves. Workflows is an orchestration feature built into Databricks for scheduling and executing jobs. The Experiments page displays machine learning experiments that have been started. You can create new experiments, either AutoML experiments or a standard MLflow experiment, from this page. Additionally, you can view models that have been logged and managed by MLflow 
The Feature Store contains a centralized repository of feature tables that allow you to manage and share features. Feature tables can be created and managed both programmatically and through the UI controls enabling machine learning teams to successfully manage their features. Models leads us to the Model Registry. This registry is a centralized repository for models that are developed with MLflow. The registry provides capabilities to drastically simplify the management, testing, and deployment of models, and machine learning practitioners use model registry directly from the UI or automate their model management with easy-to-use APIs. While in the machine learning persona, to return back to the home page, you can select the Databricks logo at the top of the sidebar. Databricks Machine Learning is a platform that brings together all the tools and products needed for the work of a machine learning team. It's been designed to make machine learning teams more successful while using Databricks.